start with and kind of something like win upset stomach mm -hmm. and we use diamond water milo tea and we can rest we can rest mm -hmm. and after we can rest we decide to travel to woodlands hospital from Pamu. that was dindial narain a 52 year old patient after the man started experiencing these pains, he was required to get admitted to the hospital for observation and care. He, however, decided to go to the Dorsham Public Hospital instead. His reasoning was that the public hospital was simply more cost-effective. But the man's health further deteriorated as he suffered from three heart attacks. Mm -hmm. You had this problem for a long time? Never. Mm -hmm. I sudden take them. Mm -hmm. Three heart attacks. A public she had it up. And then he come here because the surgeon did not go back there. Oh, no, due to the COVID 19. Mm -hmm. So come and reach here. Fortunately, the man was able to engage doctors at the Dr. Bowen Singh Hospital, a private hospital in Georgetown. And Narayan was among the six patients between the ages of 15 to 59 who were able to receive much needed heart surgeries that would enable them to return to their daily lives without the pain and discomfort they experienced before. Each of the patients were grappling with a cardiovascular disease and the surgeries they needed were done by visiting medical professionals from India at the Holistic Cardiac Care Unit at the private hospital. Dr. Madhu Singh, the Chief Executive Officer of the Dr. Bowen Singh's Hospital, spoke on the hospital's intent behind offering these services. It has been uh, the desire of Dr. Balan Singh's hospital to fill this particular lacuna in healthcare in Guyana, and that is access to safe and advanced cardiac surgery. And uh, with, the, with the arrival of this team, we have been able to do just that. And it, was, it has not been so simple to arrange and to put together. Dr. Prashant, the cardiac surgeon, has had a lot to do with this. And without his assistance and his leadership, we wouldn't be here today. Dr. Prashant Vijay Nath, the cardiac surgeon on the team, explained that his team was able to perform the six surgeries over the past few days with minimal use of blood transfusions and with little to no complications. And he says that the team will be returning to engage in more surgeries. So four of the six patients were, were operated and uh, they had an excellent outcome, which means they were extubated on table. The endotracheal tube was removed, the respirator was out within an hour of surgery. They had minimal or no blood transfusions, which means hardly one unit of blood was used. There were no complications like bleeding or respiratory complications were almost negligible, almost zero complication that they could make it possible. And I hope that in future we will be able to operate regularly every month and help the Guyanese patient which are compelled to travel outside and spend a lot of money to, go, to do the same procedure. So it is not only about the facility and the provision of facility and the access to the facility, but also there is, also, there is a social circumstances. If a patient travels outside, he has to arrange money, he has to arrange blood, he has to take his family, which also escalates the expenditure. So if you have in-house services, uh, uh, good services, uh, competent services, uh, deliverables like Dr. Balwan Singh Hospital, I think it will be a, a, a big boon in disguise uh, for the population of Guyana. Dr. Madhu Singh also said that the hospital is concerned with the high incidence of heart problems and would be working along with his visiting team to offer the much needed surgeries every six to eight weeks. And she highlighted that another five patients have already registered for the next set of cardiac surgeries. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Vishani Ragabir.